Hi, Dog. Could you help me carry my groceries? Can't help but feel sorry for you. Hey, Dog. How about a little help with this suntan lotion, huh? Nice try. Can't help but feel sorry for you. Goodbye. <laughs> Would you help your granny cross the street? Nice try. Can't help but feel sorry for you. Where's your goddess now? Smash. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Road to Elite Smash. And last time, we got in Banjo and Kazooie, the bird and bear duo who seemingly shocked us all, getting an undefeated run and proving to be pretty easy to play, all things considered. Now for our next Road to Elite Smash, we are getting towards the end once again, so it's time to finish out another series. Uh, a few months ago, we did the Kicker... Kit Blah. Kid Icarus series with Pit and Palutena, so now for our last character, we're gonna do Dark Pit from the Kid Icarus series, and I think Dark Pit is my favorite out of the Kid Icarus series to play, so let's go ahead, just pick the Dark Alt, because hey, it's Dark Pit, let's bring some havoc. Alright, looks like the start us off, it's gonna be a Falcon freebie, of course. Now, we have done a lot of Palutena's in the past, so it's good that we have are facing this Falcon. Alright, so let's go over his moveset, so uh, right now, doing a nice down throw in the near. Nair, his moveset is quite identical to Pit's, but with a few small changes. Getting some nice damage to him in 54 right now. But yeah, it looks like Falcon's trying to come back. Ooh, nice up tilt, but... Thing with Darkman is we got a lot of jumps, so if we get spiked pretty deep, we'll be fine. And his arrow can be angled in any direction, just like Pit's. You can aim it up, you can aim to the side, you can switch it around as well. And so, uh, yeah. Grip is just going to mi miss the side beat right there, so... Uh, and he's just going to stay there for a little bit. Alright, I think we can live with it because. Alright, up throw 180. We're still living right now. Alright, missing the Falcon kick. Nice, so we can. Ooh, alright. Try to get him with the up air, but I, could, I thought I could get him. Alright, no nair so far, so. That is his side beat. My favorite move of his is Electro Shock Arm. Has a lot of uh, properties similar to um, a Pit's Upper Dash Arm, but I think it just looks a lot cooler. Has that same super armor. I think it has a lot more, actually. But I don't believe so. Alright, we're still living at back throw from Falcon at 146. Oh, dies it down air. That's fine. He's killing us very, very late though, and we're killing him a lot earlier. And does a lot of damage to shield with that electroshock. Nice dash check. Missing the arrow. But get him with the second hit of that F smash. I gotta tell you, the good thing with multi-hit moves, they may be a pain to hit, but if you can get one to hit, you just can't help but feel sorry for him. Ooh, looks like we have Link up next, and Another sword character, but Darkman I don't really consider a sword character. He has a bow and arrow after all. So let's start off with that. So I'd like to talk a little bit about his bow. That is one thing that Darkman has that is different even towards the pit. Nice up smash to start things off. But yeah, his bow is actually a little bit different. Now the thing is, with pit's arrows, you can curve them through the air and do a little bit of damage. Now Dark Pits you can't, they only go in a straight line. Just really take that forward air and Link failing to get that bomb explosion to get him back. Now the thing with Dark Pits arrows is because they can only go straight, in turn they are a little bit stronger than Pits arrows, which I think adds a nice little layer of strategy. You want to be able to close out areas instead of just trying to go with curved areas, sort of like the bow. And Link trying to gimp us, this is not he can't do that. We have multiple jumps and a really good recovery, and that Nair isn't just going to gimp us that easily. So we're already having a two stock lead right now. Doesn't get him with that up smash. Alright, down throw Nair. Trying to get him with the bow. Almost got him with, with that up smash. Guardian Orb Cows do, of course, reflect projectiles, but we won't need them. Get another Electroshock. Can we go for one more? Oh. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? What the? Hey. Hey. Well, that worked out nicely. <laughs> Pandora. Ugh. Pandora. Just making sure Pandora's powers don't go to waste. A waste. Oh yes, we can. And a three stock to boot. Darkman is not messing around with that link. Just proving that the power of like electro shocks makes him the last man standing. Another sword fighter? Oh, and this is going to be Sephiroth too. He has a much longer sword, but I don't think that makes any difference. In fact, I think Darkman can have some. Real fun with Sephiroth. He does have some projectiles that we can reflect, and that counter did a little bit of damage to us, but we can reflect that as well, since it acts as a projectile. But yeah, nice down throw, nice snare. 
Didn't get the drag down, unfortunately. Not really good at those, but almost got him with that down smash. Haven't really talked about it, but it's pretty fast. You can do some good damage. That was some pretty good damage with uh, the dash attack, killing me at 170. But his wing is now gone, and whipping me off. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, He's dead. Inside, gets us a free electro shock. He does live, but he's not living that arrow. Closing out that area. And now it is on even footing once again. Let's go for a nice down throw. Trying to go with the forward air this time. See if you uh, DI out. Jeb doing some nice damage. As he does have wing now. Fire the arrow up. And there we go. Nice F smash. Get it in succession. Haven't really missed those F smashes. Really hitting those a lot more than up smash. Alright, living that. 82. And he's just standing around there. Alright, nice dash attack from him. But he's not gonna hit us. We can sell that a little. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna make it back, unfortunately. Yep, a I little bit too low for that. That is our one weakness against Sephiroth. This down air is really, really powerful and can stop it really cold if we're doing a linear recovery. Ooh. Okay, the Electroshock almost goes to killing as he gets his wane again. Alright, nice dash attack. Let's go ahead and fire the arrow. Goes upwards. Now it's shield. Go for the roll. It's time. Oh, there's the nice roll read. Getting up with that F smash. That F smash is coming in clutch. A lot of moves he's got is coming in clutch. But we haven't talked about all of them. So like let's go into the next insane. match and discover some more. Alright, so the moves we haven't discussed yet. Well, we've discussed Electroshock taking the kill that easily. But here's the thing. We haven't talked about back air or down air. And the thing is, they're pretty good moves. Nice down smash. He's got him with a nice down smash as well. Alright. Nice. Almost got hit by that down smash. Ooh, alright. Unfortunately, not getting the range with the forward air. Getting that octa slash. Killing me late. Similar to the first game, actually. Oh, I wanted to get him with that electroshock again. Alright. It's a fourth, though. Alright, 48. That's what happens when you have wing. Alright, waiting patiently. There's back air. So unfortunately, didn't get the hit, so we'll have to take the kill with F smash instead. But not bad. He's trying to go for uh, octa slash a lot, which is good, because... That will give us free punishes like Electroshock, F Smash, as you've seen. But we're still hanging in there at 126. And why is he just standing there? And honestly, I probably could have done that a little bit later because, again, it does reflect. Try to get with the Electroshock again. So let's try to go back up and go for those. Whoops, you have to put this Electroshock up your ass. That's Electroshock again. Oh, uh, Electroshock, I just love it. I just love how strong it is, how it can reflect projectiles, how it is super armor. It is just the all-in-one move, basically. Alright, looks like we got a fun way to close out this Road to Elite Smash with King DDD. I don't think we faced a DDD in a long time, but I'll show you why this matchup is pretty fun. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory. We can just reflect its Gordos with the bow, with the Orbitars, with the side B. It, DDD just does not do good in this matchup. So, he may be comboing us right now. Oh, there we go. Up to in the nair. Haven't really got that so far. But yeah. Nice shot. Do things. Oh! Hooray! There's down here. He does have a sweet spot and does spike, but I don't think we're going to be hitting that. I don't really see many opportunities to do that. Just going up in to throw us a lot. There we go. There's a nice uh, electroshock reflection. Up to in the up air. Alright. Let's turn it around. There we go. Doesn't get the Gordo though, so have to take damage from that. Do it again. Oh, alright, he's going for an inhale. And now it's overtoes. Those can just reflect more than just projectiles. They can stop damage from coming in, which is pretty helpful. Alright, unfortunately missing that up smash. Ooh, and he gets his. Yeah, the DD up smash is pretty good. But I think we can outrange him and see if we can get a nice kill at 131. Alright, no nair, but that's fine. Yeah, leaves him wide open. The super armor kicking in for Dark Pit on the Electroshock arm. Alright, nice forward air. Let's see if we can make it back. Watch out for the jet hammer. Alright, we avoided it. And unfortunately eating that back air, but it's alright. Oh shoot, okay. Looks like it traded with his foot. It's, the thing is, if you do it in mid-air and you hit someone in mid-air with it, missing the down smash, but with electroshock on, if you do hit someone in mid-air, you'll go up a little bit, and I think that's actually what happened. A trade with that up smash. And DD forcing an air dodge, so now we're on the last stock. 37% for us on Dark Pit. So, let's see if we can get a nice... Alright, nice. Leave this open for that. Nice forward air. We can force him to jump in those situations. And, Gordo, we're not going to play too much on ledge. Because his uh, ledge trapping skills, I don't really do too much. Alright, nice. Electroshock arms. Almost got him with the bow. Alright. Oh, he's going the other way. Let's see if we can catch him. What will you have after 500 years? Yes, Stripper.
Yes, we can! With that up smash. We've been missing an all elite smash run, but it turns out to be the move to clutch it out in the end. And Darkfit, you just can't help but feel sorry for him. Well, I gotta say, that went very different compared to Pit's Elite Smash run, and even Volatina's Elite Smash run. Those were a lot easier, just because they had a lot more broken moves to use. Volatina with Nair and Up Air, and Pit with the arrows. Dark, but you have to think a little bit more, but let me tell you, I love that Electroshock was the MVP of this run, doing so much damage, and really just being in a, a wall-in-one tool. Again, Dark Pit was my favorite character of the Kid Icarus series to play in Smash, and I really enjoyed playing this uh, Road to Elite Smash considering how hard it was to get him in. And overall, the Kid Icarus characters, nothing too special to play with, but I think Darth Pit is just my favorite character to play with and had a lot of fun with it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and electroshock that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.